Hey, what's up, YouTube? Do you have a cow problem? Do you have way too many of these boisterous little creatures running around your world, terrorizing your villagers? I don't, but you might. Well, now you have a place that you can actually put these lovable little creatures. I have made for you a cow barn, also known as a Moo Moo Hotel. This is a place that you can store all of your cows. It has an inside portion, it has an outside portion, it has an upstairs and a downstairs, and a little area around the actual barn that they can wander around and be happy. Look at them. Look how content he is. Look how- okay, walk away from me, Gerald. Fine. It's been a little while since I've made an animal related build and a lot of you guys were asking for a cow one. And here we are. If you do want to see another animal related house, feel free to let me know down there in the comment section or on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter at TSMC360. Check out the card system or the description below for all of my other previous animal related builds. I've done loads of them now. I think well over seven, I think. Or this might be the seventh. There's a few. Check it out, that's in the card system and the description below. That's my animal builds playlist. You'll find it easy to find. If you want to make this thing, however, here's what you're going to need. You will need some spruce wood, some oak wood planks. Grab oak fence, spruce fence, oak wood slab, spruce wood slab, spruce wood stairs, white stained glass block, and some oak wood. Now, we might need some more things later on, but who knows, we might not as well. So, once you have each one of those materials, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm going to be making it right about here, because why not? Well, once you've figured that out for yourself, you're going to want to kick off this build with a row of three spruce wood coming directly up from the ground. That's one, two, and three. You then want to take this third block, and you want to go right of it by four. That's one, two, three, four. Connect that fourth block down to the ground. Then return back up to this fourth block and go right of it by three. One, two, three. Then connect that down to the ground. Then return back up to this third block and go right of this one by four. That's one, two, three, four. And then connect this down to the ground to give you something which should look a little bit like this. Then come back all the way to this very first initial third block that we made coming off the ground, and from this you want to do three upper right diagonals. So the first one would be here, the second one would be here, and the third diagonal would be here. You then want to go right to that third diagonal by five. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Then do bottom right diagonals until you connect to the equivalent part on the opposite side, like so. Take each one of these center vertical rows of spruce wood and connect them down from the ground all the way up to the top of your build to give you a shape which should look like this. Pretty easy. Well, once you've got that taken care of, we might as well sculpt this thing a little bit. So, what we want to do here is, um, we'll start from the very bottom left-hand side and work our way over to the right. So, on the very bottom left-hand side here, we want to have a row of oak fence just in this bo bottom empty left-hand side space. The bottom center space is empty, it's an entrance. The bottom right hand side space here, we're going to want to have a row of oak wood planks in the bottom row. And then in the upper row, we don't have the material, we need some dark oak fence. And we want a row of dark oak wood fence stacked on top of the oak wood planks. Then, for the second row of this house, or the second floor going from left to right, this first left hand window wants to be filled in with white stained glass block, like that. This center space here wants to be left alone, but what we can do is we can do a row of two oak wood slabs coming out in front of this empty space here. And then we want to go around this with oak wood slabs. And then we want to go around the slabs with a layer of oak fence, like this. We then want to place on the ground floor here, left and right of the entrance, an oak wood. And then we want to connect those oak woods upwards to the little balcony that we've made. What we can then do is the top up, upper right empty space, so still going right leaving that entrance alone now that we've finished it, we just want to fill that in with oak wood planks. And we'll end up with something that should look like this, and I guess that this is fairly complicated, there's quite a bit going on with the front of the cow barn, but there you go, that's it, it's pretty much complete at this point. Well, once you've got that taken care of, this is what we want to do next. So we now want to come to the left hand side of what we've made. We want to start again with this very first initial row of three, and we want to take this top block in this row of three that we started with and we want to move this backwards by three with the spruce wood that's one two three then connect that down to the ground 
we want to then take this third block again and go left of it by four. One, two, three, four. And then connect that down to the ground, like that. We then want to take this fourth block and go left of it by three. That's one, two, three, and then connect that down to the ground. Why don't we mess about with this now? So, on this side of the build, and we will need a different material for this, so we'll get rid of oak wood for a while because we don't really need it too much, and we'll grab ourselves a an oak wood fence gate, if I can find it. I always have trouble finding these. And what we want to do on this side is we want to do oak fence in the two smaller spaces connecting the bottom spruce woods together but we want to take this very center space here and we want to do a dark oak wood fence left and right and we want to place an oak fence gate in the center so can you see that the very left hand side and right hand side we have sectioned off with oak fence but at the center we have a dark oak wood fence either side and connected together with a oak wood fence gate or an oak wood fence gate if you want to be all grammatical and such well once you've got this side taken care of we can then move on to the opposite side so on the opposite side similar thing ish on this side we want to start with this third block on the right hand side and we want to go right of this towards the back by three with the spruce wood that's one two three and then connect that down to the ground god damn it we then want to take that third spruce wood and then we want to go right of that by four one two three four and then connect that down to the ground and then take that four spruce wood and then go right of it by three that's one two three and then connect that down to the ground we then want to do a row of oak wood planks right at the base here, running all the way from the front to the back. And then we want to have a row of dark oak wood fence stacked on top of that to give us something which should look like that. Easy enough, right? Well, once you've got that taken care of, we now want to move to the back of our build, which is quite easy. So, first of all, we want to connect these two back spruce woods together like this. So, connect them together like that. What we can then do is, starting from the very bottom left-hand side of this empty space here, we want to have a row of three oak wood planks going right, that's one, two, three, and then we want to do a spruce wood. Then going right, we want to do two oak wood planks, then a spruce wood. Then we want to have a row of oak wood fence going right. Extend those spruce woods going up, and then take these two center oak wood planks, go on top of them with your oak wood planks, and on the left hand side here, you want to fill the upper part of the oak wood planks in with dark oak wood fence, like that. We then want to take out the spruce wood, and we want to start from the very back corner of this build, which is here, and we want to start from this back corner, do three upper right diagonals, that's one, two, three. Go right of that third upright diagonal by five. That's one, two, three, four, five. Then do two bottom right diagonals to connect all the way back to the opposite corner like that. You then want to take these very two center spruce woods that we have that connect down to the ground and we want to connect them to the top of the build. So we just want them to run from the ground all the way up to the top of the build. You then want to with your oak wood planks, you want to fill in the left empty space and the center empty space with oak wood planks. The right hand side, however, we just want to have, if I can find it, you know what, we'll actually use the glass block. I wanted to use a white stained glass pane, but there's no reason that we can't use white stained glass block instead like that, because why not? Well, once you've got that taken care of, what you also want to do is you want to, with your oak wood fence, you want to take each one of these rows of spruce wood that we have, running up the center, these two center rows of spruce wood, you guys can see the ones, I don't have to explain it to you, and you want to do oak wood fence running from the ground all the way up to the top of the build, like that. Well, once you've got that taken care of, we can actually move on to the next bit. So, the next bit that we're going to be doing is the roof. So, why don't we start on the very left-hand side of the build. So, once you've got the back taken care of, come to the left-hand side of the build. Um, so, the... To, to start off the roof, you want to have a row of spruce wood stairs that runs alongside the row of spruce wood that connects the front of the build to the back of the build, like this. And then the roof is kind of interesting from here, and what it help us is, if you take out your spruce wood, and you connect the spruce wood that you have on the front of the build to the back of the build like this, and you only have to do it for the side parts, like you only have to do it for the first two diagonals, you don't have to do it for the entire thing. If you just connect the front to the back with the spruce wood, I'll show you why that's important in a second. So now that we've connected to the front and back together on the left and right hand side, let me show you what sort of pattern we're doing here. So we want to, starting from 
on top of this next layer of spruce wood here, moving one row upwards and one row inwards, going from left to right, we want to do this pattern. So it'll look like this. Oak wood slab, spruce wood stairs. Oak wood slab, spruce wood stairs. Oak wood slab, spruce wood stairs, and if these were closer together, it'd help. And you guys get the idea from here, right? That's the pattern that you want to make. Very, very easy. And not only do you want to have this pattern here, but you want to have the pattern running all the way up the side of the build. So wherever you have oak wood slabs on the previous row, you want to have the same thing on the next row, and then the next row, and the next row, and the next row, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. You guys get the idea. That's, uh, that's exactly what you want to have. And once you've got that taken care of on the left-hand side here, why don't we talk about the right-hand side? So coming to the right-hand side, we want to do the exact same thing. So we'll start with a row of spruce wood stairs running all the way across the left. And uh, from left to right, front to back. And then on the second row, one row above and one row inwards, going from left to right, we want to have an oak wood slab, spruce wood stairs, slab stairs, slab stairs, so on and so forth, until you eventually reach the right-hand side. And of course, once you've done that, you want to repeat that pattern going all the way up to the the tippity top of your roof and the top of the roof looks a, a little bit different than uh, than some other roofs so you want to have something which should look like this um the next thing that you're going to want to do and this is kind of tricky to explain so we want to make the part of the roof that overhangs the front and back of the house or the barn and well it's a cow house technically it's a house for the cows so we want to with our spruce wood stairs we want to make the roof overhang on the front and the back of the cow house by one row, like this. And it wants to come all the way up to the top, like so. And once it gets to the top, once it is sat literally on top of the roof, we then want to use our spruce wood slabs to connect to the opposite side. So it's actually easiest if you have the overhanging row of spruce wood stairs on either side. And you want to end up with something that should look a little bit like that. So you can see that you've just got the single layer of stairs coming out in front. And once you reach the top, you just want to have that half row exposed at the top and the reason for this is we're going to be placing oak wood slab just behind it to give it this sort of effect if you guys can see do that on the front and then we can come to the back and do the same thing so on the back we want to have the overhanging layer of uh, spruce wood stairs so we're just going to have these running up and we want to have the overhanging layer of spruce wood stairs um, both on the left and right and remember they want to come as high up until they're sitting on top of the roof on top of the spruce and then we can connect them together at the top with a layer of spruce wood slabs and then we can back them with oak wood slabs just behind them so we want to have something which should look a little bit like that and that's pretty easy i think i hope that you guys can do that well once you've got that taken care of this is what you want to do next so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to, and this is this is somewhat difficult to uh, to explain, I guess. But what we want to do is we now want to connect the layers where we have the oak wood oak wood slabs together. We want to connect with glass, so we want to connect left and right together the roof where you have the oak wood slabs with glass like this so you just want to run rows of glass like that running across the roof and that just serves to let some light in and you want to connect the opposite so not the opposite you want to connect the spruce wood stairs together at the top with a layer of spruce wood slabs if you guys can see what i'm doing it's quite easy really so you just want to connect these slabs together with uh, or you just want to connect the spruce wood stairs together with spruce wood slabs and you want to connect the other parts together which are basically of course just the uh the oak wood slabs together with a layer of uh, with a layer of glass and do note that the slabs are stacked one row above the glass if you guys can see to give you this sort of effect it's kind of cool well that's the roof it's really easy and that's what it wants to look like it's uh, it's kind of interesting in relation to the other roofs I, I quite like it. So, once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So, the next thing that we're going to do is just, uh, we're just going to do some stuff involving the inside of the cow barn here. So, 
On the inside of the cow barn, now we have to put in a second floor, we have to do the flooring. So, um, inside the cow barn, we want to, starting from where the back of the entrance is, where you have those two rows of spruce wood for the entrance, you want to dig into the ground and you want to connect the entrance to the back. And you want to dig into the ground and you want to replace it with spruce wood, like I'm doing now. So dig into the ground and connect the front and back of the entrance together with spruce wood, like so. You then want to take the top two corners of the entrance, which are these two, and you want to connect them front and back. So you want to connect them to the front of the house, or you want to connect the front to the back of the house, is what I'm really trying to say. Can you see where you have the separation of the cow house on the left and right hand side where you have these vertical rows of spruce wood? You want to have those same rows on the inside here. So you want to connect the two beams of spruce wood that you place together in the same places that you did on the outer part of the cow house. So you want to have something which should look like that if you guys can see what we've done. We then want to connect them together on the second floor like this. So we want to connect them together on the second floor exactly like that. So you want to have kind of like a square in the center of the room. Then you want to fill in the second floor of this place with oak wood slabs. Now, the only reason that we're using slabs, you can use planks, is because slabs use a little bit less room. I mean, you've, you've got that extra half block of space if you use the oak wood slabs. So, we want to fill in the entirety of the second floor, except the center part of the floor. So, we want to leave the center part of the floor alone, right here and on the second part of the floor we're just going to f we're just going to do a row of oak wood fence surrounding this like that we also want to fill in the very front here with oak wood slabs but on the back as well you want to leave these back two blocks exposed on the back and you actually want to have ladders we want to have a row of ladders running <laughs> whoops those are slabs those are those are completely the wrong materials we want to have a row of ladders running from the bottom coming all the way up to the second floor like this i know it's a bit cramped up here but hey what can you do guys if you like you can move the glass uh, one row upwards if you so choose um, if you find that it is a little bit too cramped for you, um, I kind of like the effect where the glass, um, where the glass is kind of like embedded in the roof. But if you want it so that the glass is, like I said, like one row higher, if you do actually want to use the inside of this and you do actually want to walk around, it, you might find that you actually prefer it if the glass does just sit one block higher. So it's kind of like a personal preference for whether you actually want this thing to be functional or whether you want it to look how you want it. Um, I personally go over looks over function myself, so it's completely up to you. But if you do just make it one row higher, um, I do think it makes the roof look slightly worse, but you do have a bit more room up top here. And that's pretty much all you want to do up top. Now, down below, um, we've got some things to do. So, down below, we want to completely replace the floor with oak wood planks. Um, that's, that's the idea down here. There's not too much more that you want to do. You just want to replace the floor with oak wood planks. It'll take a second or two because, of course, there's a, there's a decent amount of floor and the floor is kind of awkward to get to. It really is because, I mean, there's a load of beams and stuff in the way. And that's kind of why I like this. Uh, it, it feels very busy, this barn. It feels like there's a lot going on. And uh, I like it that way. I feel like, you know, uh, if everything's got its purpose in this barn, nothing's, there's no wasted space in here. It, uh, it all feels quite functional, really. And uh, something that you may want to do is, uh, we, we need some gates again. Um, you may want to uh, section off the, um, you may want to section off the right hand side here because this is where the indoor cows are. And you may want to have an entrance gate for the indoor cows so if you like you'll be able to transport the cows here from the right hand side if you section this off to the left hand side which I've noticed that we still have to uh, fill in um, so what you want to do on this side is you want to dig out the interior part of the floor but you'll notice that the outer parts of the barn here um, 
you'll be able to see grass blocks underneath the fence and stuff. Underneath the fence and the outer perimeter of the cow barn, you want to place spruce wood underneath these blocks. And on the inside part, you want to do oak wood planks. So whilst this is kind of like the outer part for the cows, they're still not stood on grass. They're stood on oak wood planks. That's kind of the uh, that's kind of the point here. And you can do the same thing on this side. Um, actually, you can't. I uh, I actually changed it. So um, we don't need spruce wood stairs. I designed this to have uh, oak wood stairs. So on the left and right hand side, on the insides here, where the outdoor cows are, we have uh, upside down oak wood stairs like this on the left and right hand side. I don't know why I like I like this a bit better. And then we have like the dark oak wood fence in the center and the oak wood fence gate connecting things together So I don't know why I kind of like this a little bit better um, I don't know I uh, I did this for the outdoor car part and I like it So um, you can keep the cows here and you can obviously transport them in and out of the barn and around um, Once you've got that taken care of we do now have to do the outer part here So we're going to take the back um, the front left hand corner and the back left hand corner of the barn and we're going to extend them left outwards into the ground by three so that's one two three like this and you want to connect them together that might have been a bit of a difficult way to explain things but you guys can see what we've done we've taken the corners we've dug into the ground we've moved out from them by three we're going to replace that empty ground with oak wood planks like this we're then going to go around that with oak wood, dark oak wood fence like so if you like you can grab yourself some podzol which is one of my favorite words ever podzol and we can kind of like destroy a couple of blocks in here so we can destroy a couple of blocks a couple of the grass blocks and we can replace them with podzol because i imagine that the ground is a little bit worn from where the cows have been standing like that Next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to do the surrounding area around the barn here. So we're going to want to take out the spruce wood. And can you see where we have these oak woods here, right at the entrance? Digging into the ground, coming out in front of these oak woods. We want to have a clearance of three. So that's one, two, three. We then want to move left and we want to leave a clearance of three between the end of this and where the actual perimeter for the barn is going to be. So we want to from here do one, two, and three, like that. That's what you want to have. And then I'm just going to dig all the way backwards, and I'm going to dig backwards here. And I'm just going to leave a gap of three between the back and where I want the perimeter to be. So that's one, two, three, and then I'm going to drag it over to this side. And it's going to be different on this side because we're going to have a perimeter of one, um, we're going to leave a uh, we're going to leave one two three four and five blocks alone and we're going to dig into the sixth block so that's one two three four five six and then we're going to extend this sixth block all the way forwards until it will connect to the opposite side there whoops we will replace that block in a second so we're going to drag it all the way over to this side we're going to connect it there and then we're going to have the outer part of the barn is going to be a spruce wood so the outer part, the row that kind of like separates the barn from everywhere else is going to be spruce wood with oak wood uh, with oak wood fence stacked on top of it. So going all the way around. Um, what we're also going to do is a little entrance here. So once you've got the spruce wood taken care of here, we're going to dig in between the entrance and we're going to replace this with oak wood planks like so. We're going to go all the way around the perimeter on top of the spruce wood and we're going to stack a layer of oak wood fence as I'm doing now. Once we've sacked the layer of oak wood fence, we're going to add some fence gates. Plus, we're also going to add a couple more things. Not only are we going to make it a little bit more grassy for the cows, but we're going to add some hay bales and, well, the cows as well. So we're going to, first of all, fill this block in with grass block because that sort of stuff drives me mad. And we're going to grab ourselves some bone meal. We'll grab ourselves some cows. Can I find the cows in one go? There we go. There's there's the cows. Um, we also need some hay bales. 
And what else do we need? Oh, we need some fence gates as well, of course, don't we? So what color fence have we used? I think we need dark oak fence. So um, just so that we can access the cows, we're going to place dark oak fence gates. <laughs> That's the wrong way. Dark oak fence gates on the left and right here of the entrance. And then we're just going to place some hay bales um, placed strategically around here. So um, the hay bales, obviously you can have more of them um, on the right hand side than the left simply because of the fact that uh, there's, there's more room on the right hand side than the left. Um, but that doesn't stop you placing them around in the corners and stuff just as long uh, just as long as they're not connecting to anything I think uh, I think is a, uh, a good place to place them. Do, do they connect to the... Why is that? There's more room on the front than the back but that's okay. I'm, you can make it as big or as small as you want. That's alright. That's perfectly fine. Um, I'm also going to... Oh well might also want to light the place up a bit. <laughs> I, I grabbed some shrubs instead of lights. They're basically the same thing. And now I'm just going to throw a little bit of bone meal about um, just to... I don't know. I, I like the bone meal. I like the effect that it gives. I like the flowers. I like the grass. Um, I don't think that it should just be like complete normal grass. I think that there should be some bone meal around to, uh, to kind of liven things up a bit. I'm also going to place a couple of cows. So why don't I uh, place them out here? That's one and two. I'll place Larry and Curly. And then I'll place two in here. That's Mo and rhododendron and I'm also going to place a couple here inside and I'm just gonna light things up a little bit so I'll place uh, I'll place torches uh, anywhere that I like actually so maybe like primarily on the insides of these just so that they're not that visible from the outside um, I can also place some lights um, up above on the second floor here if I want actually I don't have to because um, it's quite well lit up and this is the cow barn guys it's actually a pretty interesting cow barn um, it's made of pretty generic materials but I think that the design's actually really really cool I think it's actually really solid I almost forgot about something do you guys I don't quite like this but I will give you guys the option to build it if you like so on the original version of this, I have a pixel art cow head poking out of the top, and I just did that for my own amusement. If you want to make it, you'll need some spruce vents, um, some brown wool, you'll need black wool, light grey and white. And I don't advocate this because I think it kind of ruins the barn a bit, but if you do want to place it, then that's completely up to you, isn't it? So, um, to place the cow head, um, you want to come to the very back two corners here of your cow barn, on the roof and you want to do a row of two spruce wood coming up from the very back two corners like this so that's just like one and two and one and two like that you then on top of this left hand spruce wood fence that you placed you want to place a white one go left of that white by one with your brown go right of that white by four with your light gray that's one two three four go right by one with your white one with your brown on top of this row going from left to right do one Brown wool, one white wool, one black, two light grey, one black, one white wool, one brown wool. For the next row going from left to right, do two brown, then four white wool, two brown. For the next row, do an entire row of brown wool. For the next row, do one black, one white, two brown, one light grey, one brown, one white, one black. For the next row, do two white, one brown, two light grey, one brown, two white. For the next row, do three brown, three light grey, two brown. For the next row, do three brown, then four light grey, one brown. And there you have the cow head. Now, not all of you will really want the cow head, but... <laughs> You see, that's why I did it. I mean, I, d I just laughed. I, I just had a bit of a chuckle looking at the cow head, kind of like looking over at us whilst we look at the barn. I mean, you might want to build that for that very reason, and all of the other animal houses kind of do have their own little, I don't know, own little pixel arts and stuff to kind of signify what they're for, but this is a very cool cow house, cow barn, whatever you want to call it. If you like it, please give this video a like, I'd really, really appreciate it. Comment down below, what animal house should I do next? I was thinking maybe either an updated cat house, or I was thinking maybe a mushroom house, or maybe something to do with squids or guardians. But you guys will have to let me know what you want to see. I'd be more than willing to do anything that you guys suggest. We're running out of these mobs, so you guys will have to let me know. Um, check 
Also, follow me on Twitter, you can do the same thing there, you can suggest things, at TSMC360, check out the card system and the description below, because I'll be leaving you a link to my Animal House playlist, which will house all of this stuff, you guys will find loads of this stuff, so thank you very much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.